So I have a haul for you today and I'm really excited about it because I got this stuff months ago, literally months ago, but what I do, and I said this in another video I think, is I keep it in the bag and I'm not allowed to use it until I film the haul on it because that way I'll film the haul. So I went to Ulta and one of the big pink bags and I haven't even been able to touch these palettes. It's actually depressing. Um, and so, okay, so let's, let's go, this is from Toby's vet, I don't know what that's doing there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So I got two new pairs of lashes. I got the Katy Perry lashes, let's see, the self-adhesive, these are self-adhesive, they're called Darling, and they looked really cute. And so I got those, and then I got regular lashes called Oh Honey. Oh Honey. Right there. Those are more like wispy, kind of normally lashes, and these are more spiky. You can see those. So I got those, and then, should I save the palettes to last, or should we do those first? Let's save them for last. So we'll do kind of the more drugstore-y kind of thing first. So I got two L'Oreal palettes, and let's see, gosh, I didn't even remember I got these. These are from so long ago. Okay, the first one, they're the Product Runway Limited Edition ones, and the first one is called... The Mystic's Gaze. Really cool colors there. I really like the colors. And then the second one is called The Muse's Gaze. I don't even know when these were created, but those are the two palettes that I got. And then along with those, I got a few. I got one of the Project Runway lipsticks. I think this was from Project Runway, yeah. And I'm wearing it now. It's called The Muse's Kiss. And it's this color, and I actually, the first time that I tried it, I know you can see it on me, but you can see like how shiny and frosty it is. First time I tried it, I was like, I don't know about that. Kind of, kind of reminded me of like that lipstick that your grandma wears. And you're like, please don't, please don't wear that. It's too much. But um, I kind of just rubbed it and toned it down just a little bit, and you could do it even less. And it kind of reminds me of Matt Costa Chic actually. Um, so it's grown on me. Now let's see what these are. Okay, so. I got a new nail polish. I wanted a black because I didn't have a good black, so I got Essie Licorice. And I actually just got my nails done, so I already have them painted, but um, I got a black nail polish. I love Essie, big fan. I needed a new milk eye pencil. I haven't used one of these in a long time, and I was just in the NYX aisle, and I saw the Jumbo pencils, and I was like, I don't have a milk, and I used to love this for inner corners, so I picked that up too. Then I got another of the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows, which are probably my favorite cream eyeshadows from this entire year. They have done they did a really good job with them, and I got a green color. Uh, let me see what this is called. Do, 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 golden Emerald. So I'll just swatch this for you guys. Oh, it's beautiful. Can you see that, how pretty that is? Look how pigmented it is on my finger, too. It didn't even all come off there. And um, I just love them. They stay on so well, and they're just really bright and shiny and pretty. So I love those. And then I got two lip glosses. Now, I took a chance with these. They're from L'Oreal. They're called Le Gloss, Colorish Le Gloss. And the first one is the Queen's Shine, and this is the Muse's Shine. I guess these are probably part of the Project Runway line, too. Maybe not, though. I knew the gold one was, like, really iffy, and it's super gold. Look at that. It's really fun though. I'm glad I got the colors. And this burgundy one is beautiful. It's just really, oh my gosh, it's a little bit sheer, very wearable. The gold one's a little less wearable, but I still really like both of them. I'm still happy with my purchase there. And then I got two palettes. I'm trying to go through this as fast as I can, guys, so that this video isn't 100 years long. The first one that I got was this Tarte palette. Now, I debate a lot about Tarte palettes because usually there's so much packaging and they're so huge, but this one was just too cute. I couldn't pass it up. Look how cute this is. Um, let me see what it's called. High Performance Natural. The Big Thrill. There we go. Okay, so you open it up and you get 16 eyeshadows. And I was actually a really big fan of these colors um, because they kind of have the light and the dark and I thought I just thought they were really nice colors and they're very pigmented check this one out right here can you see that let me swatch it on my hand too really that color is like one of my favorite colors I love that just that like slaty gray blue I love that oh it's so pretty um, and I also let's watch this one too this one's the one at the bottom here look at that so pretty. Those look so great. And then you close the top and you pull out this drawer and you get 
three blush, I think two blush, a highlight and a bronzer. Really good size, and they're the Amazonian clay, so they stay really well. And then you get three full size lip colors. Amazing. This was a really cool set, I thought. I really liked that, so I picked that up. And then the last one I saved the best for last because who has not seen, I know all of you have seen it, um, I haven't even opened mine yet, which is so sad, but the Urban Decay Vice Palette, oh my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, these colors looked amazing, and I cannot wait to check them out. Okay, so let's, ooh, it comes a little foam thing, which is perfect because I can just wipe off all the eyeshadow all over on my fingers. Okay, so here it is, ah, it's so pretty, okay. Ooh, it has a little, <gasps> what? Did you just see that? Look at this. You just push this Urban Decay thing here. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. This has a cover on it, I think. Go ahead and... Actually, I'll leave it on so I don't blind you guys. But it's got one of the really nice Urban Decay brushes that they include. I love how they put like nice brushes in here. These are brushes I actually keep. Like the Naked Palette brush, I use. These are the bristles, bristles in their normal brushes. And they're really good blending placement brush, blending brush. Wow, that's awesome. Look at these colors. Holy cow. I need to do a look with these. That's too good. Damn it. That's so good. Ooh, pardon my French there. I got really excited. Um, oh my gosh. That's so good. Let's look at a few of them. Let's look at this blue. I'm dying. <gasps> okay. Let's look at another one. How about the pink? OMG. Oh, I can't even handle this. Do you see how excited I am right now? Oh my god, I gotta use these now! These are ridiculously amazing! Oh my gosh. You guys, this is gonna be way too much fun for me. Let's look at this light pink even. Oh, look at those. Oh, so good, so good. I'm actually really glad I waited to open this on camera with you guys. That is so fun. I can't wait to make a tutorial with those. And yeah, that's all I got from Ulta, guys. I have a Sephora haul coming too that I got a bunch of stuff from um, a while ago. It's kind of just accumulated and I'm just going to put it all in one haul. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for my next one and I will see you then. Bye!